ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, Michael Rainey Jr., how he was grabbed and he was sexually assaulted on camera. And you had people, you know, I, I think for me, I was so proud of my comment section when I did the video on YouTube. Like the women in my comment section were holding that woman accountable. The men were like my comments. Well, my tea sippers have common damn sense. You know what I'm saying? But again, outside of my, you know, bubble, when you go in places like the shade room and other areas, you have people saying he's a punk. He should have liked it. Free coochie. Everybody doesn't want to be grabbed by somebody that they don't know. And kudos to the guy, the one guy who kind of peeped what was going on. And he went over there to kind of distract this fucking freaky female from, from feeling on Michael to kind of pull him over to the side. And that's when he was able to kind of pull it, you know, play it off and laugh to him. But you could tell he was very, very bothered. You know, I don't know what the woman's name is who did that. Um, like I said, I never even heard of that streamer before. That was my first time ever seeing Ty Ty. I don't know anything about him. He was making it seem like this was his little sister. Like she was, you know, I don't know, 18 or something. From what I'm hearing, she's 24 years old. So she's a grown woman, grown enough to know better. But what bothers me in this situation is 50 Cent. Because again, sexual assault is always dismissed and ignored. So let me go ahead and um, show you guys what 50 Cent had to say. Because we're always so quick to dismiss people's traumas, no matter if it's a man or a woman. So 50 Cent goes on to say this. Wait, sexual assault? From a male perspective, this was an aggressive advance. LOL. He's fine. No charges are being pressed. Shoulder shrug emoji. And so this was my response. I said, he's fine, so no charges will be pressed. When this man clearly said he's trying to figure out how he wants to deal with this situation, 50, shut the hell up and worry about why Daphne Joy is out here being pimped out by your enemy. Okay? So I didn't like his response. One, that wasn't for him to speak on behalf of Michael Rainey. When Michael Rainey put out his statement, he was saying he was confused. He was trying to figure out how he's going to move. Hopefully he does press charges. I don't care if you're a male or a female. Keep your hands to yourself. And sometimes people need to go through the criminal justice system to understand that their behavior is not okay. Because if you're that bold to do something like that to somebody on camera in front of the world, imagine what she does to people behind the scenes. So this is no different than, you know, what uh, Kanye West and 50 Cent are being accused of. And it's really sad that people are so quick to dismiss, you know, sexual assault especially when it happens to a man. Remember when Terry Crews came out, you know, let, let's keep it real. Terry Crews literally crawled so all these folks could run. Because remember when Terry Crews came out years ago and he said that Adam Vinent, I believe that's how you say his name, grabbed his junk at an industry party and he didn't even know how to like deal with it. He, he just froze up and then, you know, he blasted him eventually. And then you had Russell Simmons, punk ass, trying to gaslight Terry Crews. Who remembers that? Let me go ahead and pull that up here. Terry Crews, I remember he blasted Russell Simmons. Down to my ass, don't forget shit, child. Here we go. Who remembers this? Terry Crews calls out hip hop mogul Russell Simmons for asking him to give the agent who allegedly sexually assaulted him a pass. Who is Russell Simmons to ask this man who is the victim of assault to give the victimizer a pass? And see, this is what's been happening for years in the industry. It's been the good old boys club. Okay, but now we're in a new day and age. We're in the age of Aquarius. Things are being exposed. Russell Simmons was trashed for that. Yes, D.L. Hughley was another one. Thank you, uh, Keisha and Love. D.L. Hughley was making fun of him, was clowning him. And like I said, unless you've been in that situation, you won't understand. And I, and I kind of had the same attitude because I remember when all those women were coming against our senator here in Minnesota 
um, Franklin, what's his name, Mark Franklin or something like that? I, I can't even remember. He was the one who was sexually harassing women in pictures. And these women were coming out and they were saying that um, while he would take pictures with them, he'd be filling on them and grabbing their ass, right? Because he had to resign. See if I can pull that up. Yeah, Mark Franklin uh, Jr. Okay, so initially when it came out, he was saying that he wouldn't resign. Here's an old article from NPR Child. So yeah, Al Franklin. I said Mark, excuse me, Al Franklin. So our senator was initially saying that he wouldn't resign. And then under a lot of pressure, he ended up resigning. So this is like around the whole Me Too thing. And so I remember thinking to myself, like, well, I don't get it, you know, like, because you would see the pictures and everybody looks normal and they're smiling, but the whole time this man is like filling them up and grabbing on them. And, you know, again, somebody's assault is not for you to understand. That is for them to figure out how to deal with it. And then, like I said, a few years later, like a year or two later, the same thing happened to me. And I'm like, now I get it because... You know, I'm in a group setting. I'm with people that I've known for a long time. And, you know, we're taking a picture. It's supposed to be a happy moment. And this person's husband is literally grabbing my ass the whole time in the picture. And I'm trying to smile, but I'm so uncomfortable. And when you see the picture, I'm literally like, you know, but the whole time he's feeling on me. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's very hard. Like when you're in that moment, you don't know how to deal with it. And so do you, and then you're thinking to yourself, do you want to spoil the party? Am I going to be seen as the angry black woman? Or, oh, she thinks she's all that now because she's on YouTube. Oh, now she's acting high sedity. You know what I'm saying? And and even then I didn't even know like how to like deal with, I didn't even know what that was. It wasn't until I had told you guys this story that y'all were like, no T, that sexual assault, he had no business grabbing you like that. Like that's insane. You know what I mean? Cause when I was telling like my homeboy about it, everybody was just like, damn, that's fucked up. That That's what I'm saying is like, oh, that's fucked up. Dang, I can't believe that happened. But that was it. Until people were like, no, that's assault. That is a form of assault. Nobody should be touching you without permission. You know, and this happens a lot more than people know. So to judge and say that Terry Crews, you know, is a punk for allowing somebody to grab him or what you would have done, you don't know what you'll do in any given situation until you're in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Because I would have never thought in that situation that would have froze up, but I did. And then like, even when I was telling my friend about it recently, I started tearing up because this was somebody that I really loved and respected. And I would have never thought that he would have did something like that. You know what I mean? So the only thing I could do was to just gather my stuff and leave. So they probably were like, damn, why did she leave like that? But I was like, okay, I gotta go. It was nice seeing y'all. I left, you know what I'm saying? And so like, it is hard to kind of like compute that type of stuff. So I definitely, understood where Michael Rainey was coming from when he's sitting there, he doesn't know what to do. Like, does he flip out and he's thinking about his career or are people going to attack him? Like, oh, he's, cause she could play it off. So imagine if he flips out and then she plays it off. Like, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. And then now it looks like he's yelling at a black woman and he's a crazy black man. You know, so it's a lot of things that go on, go on in your mind when you're in those unfortunate situations, like Terry Crews was saying. Yeah, he has. He, he was an ex-football player. He could have punched and whooped Adam's ass right there at the party, but then he'd have been the angry black man. He would, you know, he has a family to feed. So it's a lot of things that go in on your mind. So I think the chickens are coming home to roost. So 50 Cent was all the way disgusting to me to dismiss this young man's trauma and what he went through in, in the public eye. For him to speak on his behalf and say, Oh, she was just, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what do you say? It was an aggressive advance. No, that wasn't an aggressive advance. That was sexual assault. And then to do it in front of children. I wonder if he would feel the same way if she grabbed his son like that. Now, granted, his son is a minor, but let's say, you know, once his son gets older, would he, would he be okay with his son being grabbed like that? Would he look at that as an aggressive advance? No, he wouldn't. So let's not dismiss people's pain and what they go through in their trauma simply because of how they look, simply because of their gender, their race, their background. It does not matter. I don't care if this is a woman perpetuating it or a man. Right is right, wrong is wrong. So 
Yeah, the whole situation is just really sad. Oh, yeah, he does have an older son. I be forgetting about Marquise. Yeah, it, but you know what? Honestly, if Marquise was sexually harassed, 50 Cent wouldn't care. He would laugh. He don't fool with that older boy. He only fools with the Blasian baby. So he wouldn't do anything if it was Marquise anyways. Let's keep that real. He would not care. So, yes, I definitely agree that she needs to learn a lesson. Like this type of behavior, it's, it's not okay. And it happens far too much. And I remember I didn't even realize that like some girls got down like that. And I remember my homeboy was telling me a story that um, he was out on this date with this girl. First time meeting her, they're going, you know, went out to dinner or whatever. And so like after dinner, they were in the car talking and she was like, okay, I don't feel like wasting my time. You know what I'm saying? Because I get tired of every time, you know, I eventually want to hook up with a dude, they're not packing. And she just reached over and grabbed his junk and was like, eh, it, it's all right. I'm like, people do shit like that? Like, what the hell? Like, there's women who actually will just grab people on the first date because they don't want to, you know, so like, so basically if you're not hard, if you're not, I guess, if you don't feel like a, I don't know, a nine inch through your pants, they don't feel like wasting their time. I was like, are you serious? And yeah. He was shocked. She just reached over and was feeling on it and trying to get him hard. And she was like, I don't want to waste my time and, you know, uh, form a relationship. And then when we do get ready to, to hook up, you're like five inches or something. I'm like, that's insane. Imagine if he would have reached over and, and was like, oh, let me go ahead and just finger you and make sure that, you know, your shit's not, you know, looser than the Hoover Dam. Like, like who does that? Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch me unless it's warranted and I want it. So, yeah, it really happens, though. He was just like, he's like, he just kind of froze up and just, you know, let her cop a feel. But he said he never caught her after that. He was like, that was so trashy. Like, why would I want to date somebody like that? But there's women who do things like that, you know, so it's not okay at all. It's, yeah, but you have people who think that. I've even heard people talk about that on podcasts, too. Like, you know, um... It's not fair that men can look at us and see like how big our boobs are, how fat our ass is, and they can judge. But then, you know, we don't know if that man is, you know, 10 inches or 10 or, you know, two inches. You know, we don't know. You don't know until you're ready to do the D. And so they were saying that, you know, that should that should be a thing. Like, so women aren't wasting their time. But I'm like, how are you con comparing men being able to see, you know, our physical body, right? Because, yeah, our men can see our shape, but they can't see our private area, right? I mean, unless, I guess you're on OnlyFans showing all your goods. But if you're on a date with somebody, yes, they can see your body, they can see your shape, but they don't know what you look like underneath your dress or underneath your pants. I mean, certain things should just be, you know, okay. You know what I'm saying? To, like, to not know and to leave as a, a mystique and as a mystery. And if you get with that person and, you know, the, the pain is small, then you move on. Just like if a guy hits a girl in the box is trash, he moves on. Like, when did we get to the point where we think that it's okay? Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, I said 10 inches. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at if I was like, 10 inches, damn T, I'm just, I don't know, I just threw out a size. I'm glad I didn't say 15. <laughs> I didn't say I wanted 10 inches. I'm just saying what was said on the podcast. Everybody's like, 10 inches. <laughs> All I'm saying is, regardless if a man is 2 inches or 10 inches, you need to wait to find out when the time is appropriate. It's not your place to harass somebody and, you know, grab their junk to see, you know, their, their width or their girth. That's not okay. That, that's the point of that. <laughs> Somebody said, if he's 10 inches, keep him away from me. <laughs> yeah, sometimes too big is too damn big, child. We don't need all that. But um, yeah, so, you know, again, we just have to respect people's space and, and the things that they go through. We have to do If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.